We've been covering the humanitarian crisis unfolding in Afghanistan recently, and The Telegraph reports it is only getting worse. As extreme hunger spreads through the nation, more and more parents are sacrificing their kidneys in order to feed their children. According to The Telegraph, black market organ trading has exploded in Afghanistan as millions were put into poverty. The price of a the price of a kidney once ranged from three to four thousand dollars, but has since dropped to just fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. The UN estimates more than twenty-four million people, nearly sixty percent of the country, are in need of life-saving aid. An increase of uh, third uh, increase, by, which is up by thirty percent since twenty twenty-one. And then war-torn Yemen was worsening before Putin's invasion of Ukraine and relies largely on imports to feed its people. Yemen buys at least 35 percent of its wheat from Ukraine and Russia, pushing the country further into starvation. The UN has scaled back its assistance to Yemen, despite 80 percent of the people in need of assistance. Meanwhile, in Egypt, the government was forced to raise prices on bread for the first time since the 80s. 90% of their wheat is exported from Ukraine and Russia. So, yeah, you know, this is uh, all of these wars that cause massive, massive humanitarian crises. Um, I know that the wheat issue is kind of, I know that's a, a big issue for a lot of people. There's a lot of expectation that the price of that will go up. Same with fertilizer. I think we get a lot of fertilizer from Russia and Ukraine as well. So that's going to go up. The Yemen thing, and I mean, Afghanistan, though, this is entirely preventable at this point. Yeah. Right. And that is what's right. really tragic about that. Right. This this flows from the central bank basically being frozen by the United States. And, and when you imagine if you froze up the New York Federal Reserve, I mean, imagine you froze up the Federal Reserve Bank in New York or the and the and the U.S. Federal Reserve. So all of a sudden banks aren't able to clear transactions. Your paycheck isn't isn't clearing uh, what you used to be able to you know, what you used to be able to get for a dollar, it's now costing $3. Uh, we don't, because we're an empire, we don't do much with exchanging currencies. So we don't really understand the relationship between currencies as much, but the currency, the Afghani, which is their, the currency there has just completely collapsed as a result of this. And so e even that dis the disgusting statistic, uh, horrifying st statistic that kidney prices Ugh. are plummeting, it's actually much worse than that because you're gonna get even fewer Afghanis uh, out of that $1,500 that you're getting for a kidney. So you'll sell your kidney and you will be starving, you know, it, it fairly quickly after that, you know. And, you're, you know, people like we've talked about earlier, people are burning furniture in order to, in order to heat their homes, burning furniture to cook with or, or selling their furniture uh, in, in order to then buy food, which... Uh, and Which is obviously such a self you know, all we, you know, yeah. short, extreme short term measure to, right. you know, give up your burn your possessions. Right. So you're, you yeah. can only do that once. Yeah. You can only it's not. What do you do after the couch right. is gone? Yeah, exactly. And so, so we're, yeah, we're yeah. trying to squeeze Afghanistan to death. Literally. What is the game plan here? I mean, do we have a game plan? Is it is it we're not going to give you the money until the Taliban's now gone? I mean, this is another form of war. Right. I don't think obviously. we're not even saying that because we have no plans right. to we, we have accepted that it's going to be Taliban controlled. Right. This right. is just so that this is so that no politician ever has to face a oh, you voted to give money back that somehow indirectly was used by the Taliban to fund terrorism somewhere. No politician ever wants to face that you voted for this. And be, you know ABC connections. This this right. And the right? and that's, the that's what they want exactly. And the Taliban is a domestic organization. Right, exactly. Like yeah, I was gonna they, say, they've like, never had a terrorist right. attack that they've actually like they right. don't. In, do, they, within they, they, yeah, absolutely right. Within right. Afghanistan, they launched plenty of terrorist attacks. You know, on their route back to power, but they don't they don't have any interest. Like they've never shown any interest in any type of imperial global terrorism. Right. Uh, but right. that's exactly right. It's, it's Democrats want to minimize their losses. So they'd rather lose the House by 40 seats than by 50 seats. And for that, a couple million uh, Afghan people can die. Yeah. It's, and, right, it's, it's more craven than that because I don't think there would be some kind of immediate blowback. It's right. just in the event of Especially some, right now. Nobody's paying attention. Right, much later. Yeah. And, and, yeah, right. and meanwhile, we're driving a Yemen the Yemen crisis is just horrifying to think about the fact that so much of their uh, their bread was coming from Ukraine and, and Russia, and they're already on yeah. the brink. You know, so many of them are starving.
not just on the brink of starvation, like starving. And it, it's worth remembering that the Arab Spring kicked off significantly as a result of uh, a spike in food prices. Uh, well, so that's that why it, we need to be, be more selective about the sanctions on Russia, because a lot of that is about the sanctioning um, and the banking issues and whatnot. So, you know, it's like release the wheat. Do Let's something hurry up to end this war. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh. Well, they should, I mean, that would be <laughs> they nice should stop, though. They should yeah. go back. Yes. Give it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Declare Terrible. victory and go home. Yeah. That's what we do. That's right. But then we do every time. <laughs> Um, so Al Jazeera called out the Western media, alleging a double standard in its coverage of Ukraine versus other war-torn countries, underlying their horror at how such invasion could happen to a, quote, civilized nation. CBS correspondent Charlie Degada drew backlash on social media for these comments over the weekend. Now with the Russians marching in, it's changed uh, the calculus entirely. Uh, tens of thousands of people have tried to uh, flee the city. There will be many more. People are hiding out in bomb shelters. But this isn't a place, with all due respect, um, you know, like Iraq or Afghanistan that has seen conflict raging for decades. You know, this is a relatively civilized, uh, relatively European, I have to choose those words carefully too, uh, city where you wouldn't expect that or hope that it's going to happen. I mean, Yikes. Was, like, aside from all that, it's also historically illiterate. Not true at all. <laughs> the, the fact that people yeah. can think of Europe and think of a peaceful place, and uh, you, whether Ukraine's, Ukraine's Europe or not, there was a Holocaust there in the 30s. And there was a, a absolute massive bloodshed throughout the 40s in World War II. There was massive bloodshed in Europe all through the, the 20th entire, century. It's the bloodiest, you know, before the 20th deadliest century, the, place. But yes, <laughs> they spent 500 years. Through the early years. modern period, through the medieval period. This 70-year period where they haven't been slaughtering each other is, is the, the exception. Is the exception. The rule is that um, Europeans are the most violent, yeah. d deadly like, right. There was killers the early 1700s where there was some but, peace. But, I mean, he, this guy did, does, I mean, he does. For like a, he year, has a couple a years. Right. Yes. I mean, there is a point to this. And actually, Middle Eastern countries have been pointing to this as well, that there does seem to be, you know, there's a lot of, uh, oh, no, what's going on in Ukraine? And it's really horrible. And it is bad. But when you're comparing wars at this point, I mean, it's really early on in the Ukraine-Russian war. Right. So there's, you know, and every war is bad. But um, the, the conditions of the people in war in the Middle East have been atrociously bad. I mean, look yeah. at what's going on in Yemen. We are yeah. not seeing images of starving children in Ukraine like what we're seeing in Yemen, right? I mean, the the actual imagery is way worse, and yet they have some, so they are claiming racism. They're saying that, um, you know, the U.S. only cares when it's white people who are at war and it gets a ton of coverage and everybody says, oh, no, stop the bloodshed. Oh, no. But when it's brown people or black people, nobody cares. And I think there's probably something to that. I oh, mean, we 100%. don't seem to have yeah. all this coverage of of what's going on. Even now in Afghanistan, we're not talking yeah. about as much. You know, we're not seeing the images. And that is what's going on there is way worse. I'm sure they would rather be given guns and be and have the ability to fight back against their aggressor than be slowly squeezed to death the way that they're yeah. being squeezed right now. No, yeah. there's yeah, there's no question that. It, but you're, but it's just it's just such it's such a fiction to pretend that Europe right. is the civilized, peaceful. No, but side. now I mean. It's, They've been able to build. I mean, there's buildings. Yeah. There's, right, it's you know, because in our lifetimes. In our lifetimes, they right. have been. Right. But historic, you know, in the right. in the Middle Ages, uh, the the Islamic world, the Middle East was more advanced. Than, oh, a thousand than, percent. Right. They looked Europe. at they looked at Europe accurately as a bunch of like violent barbarians. Yeah, we were. Right. <laughs> my my <laughs> ancestors <lived>. were. <laughs> yeah, own it. Anyway, uh, we'll have more rising right after this.